Hello and welcome to the fourth and final video in a mini-series introducing adaptive music in FMOD Studio. This video series is designed to get you up and running with logic operations and adaptive music in FMOD Studio. My name is Sally and I'm the sound designer at Firelight Technologies. In this video, we're going to finish our adaptive music piece in FMOD Studio, adding transitions in and out of a new musical theme. This will introduce FMOD Studio newcomers to adaptive music in FMOD Studio and help refresh pros on some of the FMOD features, including the functionality of transition timelines. We're going to add in an entirely new segment of music and design a number of transitions in and out of this new segment. We're going to be introducing new audio tracks for this new theme, and we will create a submix to bypass the low pass effect we added in the last video. So the effect only applies to our main theme. There's a lot to cover today, and I would love to show you where we're going to finish off. So let's get started with a demo. So here we're going to listen to the two transitions that may occur for the death theme. In our game, the player may be offered a number of checkpoints to return to. This means that the music may return to either low intensity segment if the intensity value is low, or the higher intensity segment too, if the intensity value is high. Now I've set these up with transition regions for now, but when we create these ourselves, we'll be using transition markers so that we can listen to more of the music before we have to transition out. Other features that we'll be crafting today include a transition to the death theme when the health is at zero. So today we've got a lot to cover. So let's get started. Because you're all such wonderful students, and I know that you've totally nailed the basics of creating tracks and dragging assets in from the audio bin, I have pre-constructed my death theme so we can get straight into the fun stuff. Now, this just means that I've added in the appropriate tracks and then also dropped in my regions in there. And we'll post up these details for you so that you're able to drop these assets in at the same point. Let's see what they sound like so far. Now, in our game, the player may be offered a number of checkpoints to return to. This means that the music may return to either the low intensity segment or the high intensity segment like we heard before. And hence we need to craft transitions to cater for both. We remember how to create a transition marker from the previous video. So let's create one now to take us back to segment one and one to segment two. It doesn't matter where you drop these, but I would recommend dropping it in between bar 17 and bar 33, just so that you have all of the tracks together to create transitions with. Now we'll also need to create a loop region while we're here as well. This means that we can loop this particular theme of music if the player takes a long time to make a decision about which checkpoint to go to. Now the next step is to attach parameter conditions to these transition markers so that the playhead moves to the correct segment based on the intensity that is associated with that checkpoint selection. Again, we remember how to do this from the previous video with the transition marker selected. What we do is we hit the big plus down here in the deck area and press add parameter condition of intensity. Now, because we have two segment one selected, this transition will happen between zero and 50, and we can leave the probability at 100% for this one. We'll set up the same logic for the two segment two marker, but start this one at 50 and up to 100. Now let's have a listen. The intensity value is at 72 at the moment. And we jump to segment two. Very good. And with a low intensity below 50. And we jump to segment one. So the logic operations for those transition markers are working perfectly. 
Now, let's see how we can use transition timelines to make those transitions smooth and musical when it comes to leaving our death theme. The transition timeline will allow us to insert a musical transition piece within our transition marker and its destination marker. You can set it up to be as long or as short as you like, and it can begin playing before the playhead hits the transition marker, and also play over the destination once the playhead has jumped. To open the transition timeline, and to add a transition timeline to a transition, all you need to do is double click the marker or region that you would like to add a transition timeline to. We can manipulate the duration of the transition timeline at any time we're working on them, including extending it longer or collapsing it shorter if we change our mind. So we'll start by creating the two segment one transition. See, as we double click the transition marker, our transition timeline, this green timeline opens up. So we'll need to create a four bar transition. We'll zoom right in so that we can see exactly what we're doing. So we'll just trim this down, positioning our cursor over the bar timeline, and we'll just drag that straight in. Make sure that your follow cursor option up near the ticker here is on so that we can see the playhead travel into this transition timeline when we play it. Now, as you'll see, when we demo, the playhead travels into the transition timeline, but we have nothing in here. So it's just inserted some blank time for us to play with. Now let's drag in to the transition timeline some audio from the source. Now what we're looking for is this cursor right here with the wall and the arrow pointing right. Just grab the end of the region and drag it straight into the transition timeline. We can have a listen as we go. Now these regions can be as long as short as we like. We'll also drag in some new assets and we can use destination material as well. So that's super exciting. And you could even add fades just by hovering your cursor over the top of the end of the region in the transition timeline. And again, with that diamond, you have control over that fade. Let's see how that sounds. As you can hear, the music that is played is exactly what comes from the destination region. Well, we also want to drop in a stinger to our transition timeline here. So I'll open my audio bin and I'll grab my cinematic reverse stinger. We can have a listen to see how it sounds. Very cool. Now, one more thing that I want to do is drag in some audio from the destination region. And we do exactly the same thing, except we'll be looking for the start of our region and dragging that in. As you can see, it drags in the start of the destination marker that we're working with as well. We can create fades on these regions as well. Now for our transition to segment two, we will actually set it up to include the very same transition. You're welcome to go crazy and make something unique though. So I'll leave you to make your own transition to segment two. Now let's practice our awesome new transition timeline creation skills by creating the mechanism to enter the death theme. Now, because you could technically die at any time, we can create a transition region across all of segment one and segment two to make sure this transition can occur at any time. And we'll also make sure that we attach logic that the health must be equal to zero so this transition only occurs when we actually die. We're using a transition region because there is more than one point in the level when you might actually die. Transition regions you can think of as a collection of transition markers where the quantization interval is the resolution of the markers. Now what we'll do is we create a transition region the same way as we create a transition marker. So right click in the logic tracks section and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says add transition region two and then select death. Now we wanna make sure that this transition region covers the whole of segment one and segment two because this is sort of our main gameplay music and we'll attach the logic. So we remember how to do that. We just select the transition region, hit your big plus and go add parameter condition of health and we just want that to be zero to zero. The probability for this one stays at 100%. And our quantization interval, we'll just set that as two bars. And it gives us a line like 
a ghost transition marker every two bars within these two segments. Now for this one, we will make just a super simple transition here. We'll add our stinger into a two bar transition timeline and ensure that the assets all fade out nicely. So again, double click on your transition region, find the death drums track and open up your audio bin to grab the cinematic reverse asset, drop it in. And we only need a transition timeline of two bars. So trim this one down. Then you can go a little bit crazy here and create a few nice fade outs. So I'm going to grab my choir track and fade that one out. I'm going to grab the brass section track and drag an empty region from the end of the track itself into the transition timeline. It will play whatever material is playing at each one of these quantization points. Then you can just grab whichever tracks you like and just create little fades. You can have a listen. Make sure our health is down to zero so that we hear the transition. Now the first thing you probably noticed is that the audio in my death theme is muffled when we transition into our death theme and also with the transition timeline material that was playing as well. This is because when we move into and play the music in the death theme, these tracks are being routed through a low pass filter on the master bus. By default, all audio tracks are routed into the master track. So we need a way to separate out these tracks in the death theme from the tracks in the main themes so that the low pass does not muffle the death theme even though the health parameter value is zero. To do this, we create two submixes and reroute the death tracks to one submix and the main theme tracks to a main submix. Now to do this, all we need to do is just right click and add an audio track. For the death submix, just start routing each one of the death tracks to have the output of this new track, death submix. Now we'll need to create a submix for the main theme tracks as well. So again, add a new audio track and just start routing the other tracks through to this submix. So again, by changing the output to the submix track. Then all we need to do is cut and paste the low pass filter from the master to the submix track. So just select the low pass effect in the deck area, right click on it and select copy. And then in the submix, right click in the deck area and hit paste. Now this actually takes the automation with it. So as you can see in the health parameter, now what we have is the low pass automation in the submix track. But just make sure you go back to the master and delete that low pass filter. Now we can have a listen to what we've created here. We can go back to our main theme. and the audio is not impacted by the low pass filter. Now I really wanna show you one last super cool trick to do with the transition timelines. I wanna show you how to create automation within a transition timeline. To do this, we do it the same way as we created automation for our other tracks. So just add an effect that we want to automate. This time we're going to create a flanger, leave the depth as it is, leave the rate as it is, and we'll actually automate this mix dial here. So just right click on the dial and select add automation. As you can see, this creates a track for the automation in our main edit window. Then all you need to do is just set up your automation. So just make sure that it's dry outside of the transition timeline. And then we want to turn the mix up while we're in the transition timeline. Now this is gonna sound a little bit wacky, but you can do this sort of automation in a transition timeline with any effect. Now that was a very wacky effect, but you get the idea that you can actually create really complex changes to the sound of your music in a transition timeline setting. 
We have covered so much today and there are so many things about adaptive music in FMOD Studio I would love to show you, but this is all we have time for in this video. You can continue tweaking all the transitions and effects that we have created today and even experiment with converting the transitions out of the death theme to transition regions if you like. Now in this video, we have covered heaps of cool features of FMOD Studio for creating adaptive music. Each video was built on the previous to develop layers of complexity in our piece. This approach can be utilized in your own work as well to suit any brief that you may receive. These elements can be used in all different ways to create a limitless number of adaptive music pieces in FMOD Studio. Join us in future videos for further updates and remember to search us up on Facebook to share your fantastic adaptive music implementations created in FMOD Studio with our FMOD Help and Hints group on Facebook. From everyone on the FMOD team, thanks for joining us and see you later.